In this problem, we're going to solve this system of equations using elimination. And the nice thing about this is that we get to choose what we want to eliminate first, whether it be the x or y variables. So the first thing we may do is get rid of the fractions which exist in this lower equation. So rewriting this system without fractions, I'm just going to multiply this lower equation all by 4. So it's like distributing this 4 into this equation. And what that does is it'll remove any of the fractions that exist. And I just did that by seeing that uh, 2 times 2 would be 4. So the lowest common denominator there is 4. So if I multiply each of these by 4, then I will have gotten rid of the fractions. So what this does is it'll give us a 4x plus a 5y equals a negative 2 like this. Okay. Now this is nice because we've got the same coefficient for y's. So we can multiply now. Uh, I can multiply this top equation by a negative 1. And bringing this down would have a negative 2x minus 5y equals a positive 3. And that lower equation stays the same. So combining these two equations now will eliminate this 5y stuff. And we can see they just cancel out and become a 0. And negative 2x, and that's a positive 4x, that would give us a positive 2x equals that 3 minus 2 is 1. So all we find here that x is 1 half, <clears throat> which now we'll use to substitute into one of these two original equations. And since we do have fractions in this lower equation, I'm going to go ahead and replace x into this top equation and then solve for y. So there you have it. But now I need to replace this x with this 1 half. So now that it's been replaced, we'll go ahead and multiply these two, and then the rest of it stays the same. And then we can subtract 1 from both sides, and then divide by 5 on both sides. And we find that y is a negative 4 fifths. So here's one of our answers, and here's the second part. We can write this as a coordinate pair if we choose, which I will do up here. I'd have 1 half and a negative 4 fifths. But what I really want to end up doing is to replace both these x and y's in this lower equation because we haven't used it yet in order just to check our answer. So let's go ahead and do that. So here's my equation up here in the top right, but I'm going to go ahead and replace the x and y values which is the, with the values that we found. Just like this. And so we'll have 1 half plus that 4 fifths times negative 4 fifths would be a minus 1. It should equal a negative 1 half, does it? Well, we could take that 1 and replace it then with a 2 over 2, which would indeed give us a negative 1 half equals negative 1 half. So this is a good way to check the answer, which we've done. And as it turns out, we have our final answer right up here.